I wasn't sure if I could show you this video. We filmed it four weeks ago, and that was us coming here for the first time to tour this building shortly after we found out it was actually available for lease. Nobody knew that Huntington left this spot. We didn't know. Vin hit me up, saw the video, was like, hey, take Huntington's spot. And this is back in early December. I talked to them about it, talked to a realtor, there was already offers on it, it's pretty much dead. And only until like a week, five days before we actually moved, it became warm and got hotter and hotter and hotter and hotter. So anyways, we filmed this whole episode of the Stories Channel doing this spot. We didn't show it because if we didn't get it, we didn't want to rustle the feathers and show a video of us at the Huntington spot until it was a done deal. So we thought, well, let's wait. If we get the deal, we get a spot, we'll show the video. So you guys get to see us seeing this building for the first time talking about it. It was just an idea. And now, it's a reality. So, uh, this is a behind the scenes look at searching for real estate. We found an option for a building that you guys actually probably already know. And it's the old Hoonigan headquarters. But I'll get into the details of their journey. Um, they made some changes, they're not using the building. It's 30,000 square feet. We currently have 7,000 square feet without the mezzanine. So if I do my math correctly, it's four times the size. 4.2 4 times the size. It's a lot. So we're gonna go there right now and have a look. So we've had lots of different options. A ton of you guys actually have reached out, so thank you um, for doing that. A lot of really cool spots for like a shop office, a shop slash office space. But what we really need is a spot where we can actually rev the car. So at Hoonigan, you actually can drive the car. So we can literally have our own burn yard. It's really exciting. Um, it's very expensive and they've moved out already. So we're going to go look right now to see the current state. So I don't know what's there because Hoonigan had it set up really cool. They spent real money. This is the neighborhood. So technically it's Compton, but it's technically, it's like the very bottom of Compton and about 12 miles away is Long Beach. So this area is primarily for all the container ships. They come in from all over the world, get unloaded, and a lot of the containers come here to get stored. Um, ironically, our SVJ is on one of those container ships right now. And the SVJ will be here in two weeks. It's on a boat. That's exciting. So that car literally left on an airplane, comes back in a boat. What a story. I told Damon yesterday, I'm like, we could never sell that car. Hey, there's food, vendors. Uh, sometimes people, when they hear Compton, they think it's dangerous, um, maybe from the 90s movies, but to be honest with you, Talking to the boys at Hoonigan from when we used to come here, there's no issues in this neighborhood. It's not posh, it's not Huntington Beach, there's no palm trees, there's no vibrant restaurants, but it's what we want. Like, it's all hardcore, you can show them. Like, there's no houses, there's no Karens getting mad over noise here. It's all industrial, it's all trucks. And the Hoonigan boys, like I mentioned, they said that they had no issues. Now, I believe there's a homeless camp up here, right here. But that's everywhere. Typically they stick to themselves and they just need a place to live. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to expect today, but you're seeing this right now. Uh, this is probably a month before we announce it. So this video could be, this video could never get posted because it never happened or that yeah, could be the big change. So we're just about there. There it is. Oh, look at that, all the signage is gone. So right away, what you notice, gated, big security fence. There's a realtor. Yeah, the just ain't care is gone, which sucks. Yeah. All right, let's go be real estate oh, moguls. All right, so we just showed up here and uh, if you guys are, uh, you know, kind of in this car scene, you probably know this building. You've probably seen it before. We are at the old Hoonigan headquarters. We're going to take a look at this place and see if it might work out for us. So Dave's over here. Uh, security guard is actually holding the door open for us, so we're going to go inside. But we'll tell you guys about this uh, a little bit more when we're inside. So, so the lights don't work. Lights don't work. Can <laughs> you, you see us? <laughs> You know what sucks? We just spent all that money updating all of our lights in our shop. 
So this, I didn't know this was here actually. This is like a... Yeah, it's almost like a secretary's office kind of a greeting room, I guess. It could be like a side entrance rather than going through I didn't even know there were offices. Sorry to cut you off. Oh, yeah, yeah. My, my yeah. brain's just been... I didn't even know there was offices here. I never saw this last time. Yeah. No, we, we went through one of the offices. Like the big conference room kind of place. But there are there are a lot of rooms here. Oh, my God. And the bathrooms are here are really bad. Yeah. Vim was like, the bathrooms suck. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, oh. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> it's a door to a... Alright, to like a reception area for the bathroom? Yeah, check it in. How bad is it? Ah, okay. uh, it's okay. It's fine! It's what fine! What are they complaining about? Alright, Vin. There's these two restrooms, and then there's kind of like the full restrooms as well. This is the most important part. That's fine. It's fine! <laughs> Shit, there's offices everywhere. Office? Holy crap, I didn't know that. Do the lights work? Oh, 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 oh. Homage. I did not. Dude. How funny is that? I did not know there's offices here. Okay, these are bedrooms. This is what they are. Okay. There's another one. This yeah. is the executive one. No windows. Watch marks. <laughs> Nobody can hear you cry. That's a dude. Yeah, and then, dude, look at all this. Like. It's a lot of space. I, didn't, I remember thinking, I don't think there's any office. I think it's all open concept. That was cool. Some, some sort of cabinets over here. This is when you actually look into the building area, like all the rooms. Yeah. Wow, they really did clear it out. Man, there must have been a lot of stuff to move. Don't, don't be laughing why I'm, I'm so excited about the offices. I just didn't think there's any offices in here. I was like, oh, Jesus. Wow. So if you guys are uh, kind of the Hoonigan channel, this was their store. So they had, they had the scissor lifts over here to display cars. And this is what the actual store was right here. And the ice cream style, like a deli counter, if you will. Yeah, yeah. Dude. So this, if, we can get this building. This would be, ideally we'd do a store. Yeah. Same thing they did. Yeah, that would make sense. I mean, this area is pretty massive, but it is separated from all the other stuff. So you could definitely have like cars on display over here, a bunch of racks with the clothing, turntable. clothing and stuff. Yeah, a turntable over here, that'd be pretty sick. Wait till, wait till, Damon, by the way, Damon's coming, he's just pointing late. He had to get his a, an eye lift or something, some cosmetics thing he's doing. Yeah. I'm just joking. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <in a> meeting. <laughs> uh, he's gonna lose his mind. Like, think about the evolution of this brand. When I joined in 2016, we filmed only in Canada. We had one Huracan. There was an HQ, this for Damon's marketing company, but we didn't have this. And then two years ago, we thought, let's get a shop. It was a big risk. Before that, we we come down here, we stay at the hotel, we just drive around. That's it. Yeah. Now we're leasing this big ass building. We're going to default the first few payments just for fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <that's crazy. laughs> yeah. So they built these walls, these weren't here. Yeah, it was all just open uh, yeah, oh, like warehouse. Brian, I think they got a, a BMW transmission as a door holder. Brian's trailer was here before. They removed it, unfortunately. How many different How many different guns? Fresh. I bet that was so loud in here. So let's let's reconvene here. I'm overwhelmed with excitement, as you can tell by my expression right now. DDE store for sure. Yeah. Fans are coming by, so they can also take a peek in here. Including it had things saying like no entry, filming only, and all that. Yeah. But they can literally be buying stuff in the store. Well, this this should be like where the fleet of cars normally live, right? Because that way, when people come into the store, they can look through here, or we have this place open with some, you know, like movie, whatever the, you know, separators are. But that's that's a cool area where people can actually see some of the cars that aren't actually in there. And with these doors, it probably is fairly easy to get the cars in and out of here. Are they gonna leave all the like keypad and fob and all the security stuff they have in here? Speaking of that, so make sure that this is like. 
This is for um, a, a tag to unlock yeah, the doors. Oh, really? really yeah. Yeah. Okay, so this would have been. So over here, they had, I think that would have the pallet racks with the engines. Yeah, oh, this on this wall. Is that this one? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's that one right there. Yeah. We're gonna need to get some some sponsorship for some toolboxes. All we have is a little with <laughs> yes, national chat. Yeah. So yeah, when we first moved into our HQ, we're like, we're gonna do all the space, it's crazy. Again, it's just thirty thousand square feet. We have seven right now. Thirty thousand plus. We haven't gone to the best part, which is in the back, which we'll get to in a minute. Isn't this place crazy? You want to go in on it with us? You want to go halfers? <laughs> I'll, I'll, space. I'll play whatever role you need. To play. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the first room. Yeah. Uh, they had all the cars on display. Yeah. Uh, this is their little, little bullpen area. And then this was yep. that room. Yeah. Yep. Uh, oh, okay. That's where all the pallets were. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. So they had that airstream in there, which I don't know how they got out. They cut in pieces. Yep. Uh, yeah. I saw a picture. Crazy. And then this is this wall. Yeah. Or, well, actually, that might be that. Yeah, that other right over there. No, no, uh, that right there, right there. Yeah, there's a wall pack. Yeah. So we have all this in the Ben Pack uh, stackers. We don't need them anymore. All we need is a two post service that to work on cars, but we don't just stack cars yeah. to store them. Yeah, yeah. Dude, that's a lot of cars. Don't tell them that. It's like <laughs> buying another hypercar. <laughs> so as you guys can tell, this place is available right now. Now there's multiple bids on it. So it's not like you can just walk in and be like, it's mine. Uh, we have to offer some extra money. It's very expensive. We're in California, we're not in Texas. This building, the cost of rent is the same as our annual, like our monthly revenue four years ago. It's just the lease payment. But four years ago, what we made in a month total gross sales for our business is what the lease is here. $200 a month. I, yeah, I saw it before when they had the equipment and stuff in there, but I haven't seen it. They would have rented all this electrical, so they put all that conduit. Yeah. Is this too close? Yeah. So you put the closet here too, as well, if you wanted to. I, yeah, exactly. But, I mean, over there in the corner is probably a good spot. They've already got the airlines over there with the uh, dryers to make sure you don't have a bunch of moisture. So, probably putting it in the same spot is ideal. Hey, we got a finger break over here or something. What do you call it? Yeah. What's this room? Dude, I can't keep up. <laughs> what, they, what did they have? Do you know what they had in here? This was... No one could go in here. There was only like one or two guys that were allowed in here and that was just storage. So they had all of their electronics in here. Because through the app, you can sign people into what room. That's pretty cool. Yeah. You'll be locked out of everything. <laughs> You'll be locked out of the sim room. It is overwhelming. Wow. Oh, I was just gonna take that away, didn't they? Sneaky, sneaky. Yeah, all the ventilation that you got. Yeah. Imagine what they spent on these whole improvements for all the walls. They're only here for two years. Like half a million bucks with that Yeah, easily. I mean, just, just probably the bill for, from an electrician was probably a hundred grand. Like, yeah. the running was, all of this. The building was white and gray painted at black and the inside had all these walls. So this, you can actually go watch it on their channel when they first moved in here. It was all open. There was a divider in the middle of it and it was just open. And they used to manufacture wheels here before Hoonigan had it, I believe. And American Racing used to be out of here. I think they actually still own the land. <laughs> and there's still a lot more. There's an entire warehouse really did the filming. So obviously they had the plug-in self triple charger for the lifts. Yeah. And the lifting. Yeah, so these are all like 220 volt for welders or whatever equipment that were probably on the side of the lifts. Or and power the lifts, maybe they're 220 volt lifts. That's a boss man right there, hey? Yeah. That's David right there. Where's David on vacation? Yeah. Where'd he go? He's in Maui. 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 He's on a scuba trip right now. 
that's sick. Yeah. Did we park cars in here? Well. All right, here's the main event. Yeah. This is the reason why we were entertaining this, is this is the burn yard. This is what we are really moving here for. Mike, we Mike can make came, it happen. Mike just came to life. This is what we're Now, all right. There's a lot of room out here. Holy shit. Without those containers there, there's a lot of room. If we were smart, we'd the 599 here. We'll do that in the main channel video. Damn. Yeah, we just need a lot more of that fence. We'll in, case anybody, in, in case anybody gets a little too excited. Yeah, well, the idea would be too is we bring some friends here that are really cocky, like Garrett and his car. Yeah. Okay, go get some. Yeah, some, some Garrett some and watch our friends destroy their Lamborghinis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But dude, because they have separate, because they ran fulfillment out of there. We don't do our own fulfillment. We have a third party, so we don't need any of this. This can all be open. Yeah. I mean, if we park, you know, cars and trailers on that side, this whole area could be part of the burn yard. Oh. And it's twice as big as it was. Because they had it blocked off, like, right around. They did, yeah. yeah. And they had that big, like, spool, that wire spool thing. Right yeah. There. So right. we've always had half the building, by the way. So, yeah, we're in, we're in the back in the old burn yard area right now. This is kind of their main shop space, um, which I think was, like, the employee shop space. So that's where they had all their cars always on the lifts, always being worked on. We're gonna head in to see the rest of this building. I think we've only seen like half of it so far. There is a lot of space. It's, it's surreal, because I remember coming here years ago, the first time being like, can you imagine having a space like this? It's been being like, paved the path for all of this, this whole world. And now it potentially could be continuing that legacy pretty well. What do you think, Mike? Is this overkill? <laughs> Uh, yes, but does DDE do it any differently? Yeah. It's always got to be overkill. To make this happen, we have to cut payroll. Sorry, Dave. So you'll still work here, you just won't get paid. Sucks to be Dave right now. He's got to cut his payroll. So they pay for that. Yeah. So they use this as a bullpen area. Are the offices they are. air conditioning? Cool. Yeah. Like look at the infrastructure they had here for all of it, like their network stuff. Yeah. So all those all those cutting in videos and the Gymkhana videos in the past few years was all edited and done here. Huh. Yeah, look at all the cable like up there, just ten miles of it. It's actually cool too. So I'm like what can we do in here? I mean, this should stay something like, like, yeah, yeah, exactly. So, you know, filming, conference room, big tables, cool stuff, art. I think that'd be, you know, kind of a cool spot for it all to fit. There's no big doors in here to where you could really put cars in here anyway. So, Mike, you gotta come see. Mike, you want to go first? This is what I've heard. I've heard horror stories about. Let's go. Let's go together. Uh, we'll Oh, oh, the trough. Oh, nice. So you and uh, you and all your best friends can see at the same time. I mean, honestly, it's not that bad. I've seen worse. It's better than most gas stations I've been to on the road. That's a high bar, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> it's usable. Oh, of course, that goes in the ladies' room. Well, just making sure it's nicer than the men's, and it is. So we'll be using that one. Out of all the uh, ladies' rooms you've been in, that one's pretty good. That one's actually not bad. Yeah. Whoa! There he is. Marky Mark. What's up, bro? What do you think? It is wild. Too it's small? Too small? It's more space than I even know what we can do with. Sorry, man. We're not interested anymore. We're, we're going to need something a little bigger. Maybe another 2,000 square feet? But yeah, I wish this place would work. We haven't shown the rest of the building that they, they haven't gone to the warehouse space, have we? Or do we you just, guys? Uh, we just kind of like... What's crazy is they took that back. Uh, trailer. Trailer up. Yeah. Crazy. All right. So you got this. You got the front. This was the store. What yeah. was the store? 
Oh shit. There you go. Garage door there. That's cool. Let's yeah. walk through. Have you been through it all? Uh, most, but yeah, it'd be good to walk through again. Just, you know, seeing it for the first time, like you said, it's so big. And just kind of get an idea of where everything is in this building. All these rooms. It's like, seriously, like a maze in here. It's really cool that with the other stuff gone from Hoonigan, it's really opened up spaces for us and it's really cleaned it up. Like there was a lot of junk in here, a lot. Yeah. And now a lot of it's like gone. I see the odd thing. But I mean, before there was like 40, you know, yeah. 40 motors. There was like 20 of them on a wall, just displayed, yeah. doing nothing. Um, it's a bummer that they took the lifts, but honestly, like we can get some lifts in here. We had two posts. Not gonna need the other lifts at the moment for storing cars because, yeah, exactly. uh, I mean, I don't know if we have enough square footage, but. <laughs> but yeah, what do you think? This used to be the fab room. Yeah. Would you want to keep it as that? Because Probably, that's where all wired. the power is. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, all the air is there, the wires. You want to keep that. Yeah. Wow, look at this. Look at this place. Man, this is insane because the last time I came here, oh, oh, all this had all the machinery in it. Yeah. Wow. It looks so different. So you excited? Well, very excited, but also I know how much work is ahead of us. It's a big, just, I mean, obviously getting somebody to move all the stuff, that's one thing. But then like placing it all and setting everything yeah, up again. Michael Lessa Moving Co. <gasps> Michael Lessa Moving Co. No, we'll hire people, bro. We'll take it out of Dave's salary like everything else. I think Tim's crawled anyway. <laughs> Tim's crawled. Just what Tim wants to hear. Tim will, Tim will get it done. Tim always gets Tim always gets even have the what's it called? Yeah. We have that the break. The break. The break. What's this? Oh my god! Oh wow! Oh, wow. oh I see. I see how the I see how this loops around. Okay. Okay. Well, this is cool. So we got all right this, yes. and then obviously we have a garage door here you can come in and out of. I'm pumped. So you guys are getting to see like the real nitty gritty behind the scenes here. So a little backstory is got word that this was coming available. Spoke to the boys at Hoonigan, like Brian and all of them. And um, they're like, yeah, you should swing by and check it out. You know, you'd have to talk to the people who are now in charge of Hoonigan, which is Wheel Pros, which is now basically rebranded as Full On Hoonigan. And um, they'd probably be interested in your guys' proposal because you, my suggestion was that we basically just keep it the way it is. Now, they went a little further than that because I was suggesting they leave a bunch of like the Hoonigan kind of essence of what this building was, some of it. I mean, I want this place to be DDE, of course. But you know, being that this is like full circle, my brand was started off of, you know, watching Ken Block, you know, and then his brand Hoonigan, it's like crazy to think we're coming in to their old building. And I wanted to preserve some of that, you know, heritage, but I think at the end of the day, it makes sense that, you know, the, the branding side of things for Hoonigan is they didn't want a ton of Hoonigan stuff, I think completely connected maybe to another company or brand. Didn't matter who it was. That makes sense. I get that, the business side of it. But I was trying to get him to keep a few things like the Just Ain't Care that was painted on the front of the building was so sick. But unfortunately, they had it painted over and they basically just literally took everything out. The only thing they basically left is these walls. This was a completely open warehouse. Picture that. In the very beginning, none of these walls existed. They built all these walls put in all this electrical. So now to our benefit. Now the best part of this place is out there. This is actually why Dave and I were willing to move. We didn't need a whole lot more shop space, but what we needed was we needed somewhere to drive for you guys, right? No, I mean, I was thinking that this area, like over there, yeah, would be trailer parking, truck, Hummer, like all the outside cars and employee cars. Oh yeah, inside here? Yeah. But I mean, like, the first 20 feet? Yeah, it's just really, really rough over here. Like, there's some, like, obviously the manhole covers and stuff. And then this dip. Not like it's not usable, 
But I mean, for the most part, I think that other side into here is pretty smooth. That's really heavy though. <laughs> I think you've got to have this low spot here for drainage, right? For so sure. No matter what, you can't you can't raise that or else. No, but you well, can jump this. What's that, Dave? Is that the redo the sewer? The city's gonna change it. Imagine you actually made it so you could come in this way and going, let's just say, to, to the next warehouse, like the next whichever big area it was. You made it so it was a cutout of a car. So the only way to get through would be to drift through the shape of the car to get into the next room. Like I'm telling you, I got a lot of bad ideas. Oh, I know. We, we came in here the first time and... I, didn't see I remember they were saying like, can you guys, if they can't get stuff out of time, could you possibly move into this space? And we went in there, we're like, our whole shop is not this big. <laughs> exactly. Like, our entire shop is not this big. This is like 8,000, maybe 10,000 square feet. Because right yeah. now, remember, is a lot of our space is shop space. We only have like 4,000 square feet of shop space. Yeah. So Four or 5,000 right now. So much office. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Plus, by the way, this place has like nine offices, which we're like, yeah. Hello. The art of negotiation is don't make yourself look interested. Yeah, we're not sure if it worked for us, to be honest. Yeah, there's some stuff on the floor. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck's happening here, but... Yeah, oh, I mean... I don't like the yellow. I love it. I oh, sorry. They have that area. Table. 450 grand to put all the lighting, AC, the wiring, the walls. This is one big open warehouse. They built all this. Crazy. Great hole. This is your personal restaurant. That's your first, that's for Dave, actually, that one. Holy f shit. What a sh all this place is. Wow. Oh, this just goes to the side. I see now. Crazy. I don't know why I get sad, but I get sad when I see that trailer. You know, when I went and did, um, when I went and did Unicorn versus the World 2, and I had the opportunity to race what I didn't know at the time, but I did know, uh, Leah Block, when she was 15, driving the Unicorn with her dad there, um, they, they brought this trailer up. That, that was it. You know? Sad. The irony, too, that we're here reviewing this the day after Ken Block's uh, I don't know, you don't call it, a, it is an anniversary date of his passing, is just made the hair on my arm stand up, like it's this eerie feeling a lot of planning it's, it's, there's so much room step one, getting this that's a hurdle in itself step two, the big hurdle is like moving in and making sure we're being responsible for actually using the space. I mean, we, we want this because of the burn yard. The interior is just like far more than we'd ever need. Yeah. But we'll make it work. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. there's, you know, we talked about some ideas. Well, what if like, this fill the space with if cars? You have, if you have like a studio thing where, you know, you have hours where people can come rent a studio space to do photos or whatever. Because there's that, like, I mean, obviously there's massive amounts of space to, to do that, so. You know those raves here? No. <laughs> yeah, no Tim. <laughs> Sean. Make the front of this building look badass. 
Yeah. Our logo, a whole bunch of cool gnarly stuff. I want, a, I want 10 times the barbed wire. 10 oh, times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I want barbed wire everywhere. I want barbed wire on the top of the building. I want barbed wire everywhere. We just sniper guys on top. A sniper guys. I want the sniper guys. Yeah, Get the sniper guy. guys. I want all of it. I want a dog that'll bite me, let alone an intruder. I want to come in and be scared to come on my own property. All right, so we just left the building. We're heading back over to DDE HQ in Huntington Beach. And I hope that this works out because that place is gonna be absolutely amazing. If we can get that place and have that entire burn yard area, all that space inside the shop. I mean, we can have like, we can literally do figure eights, donuts inside of the building. Maybe like a go-kart track. I mean, there's just like, there's so much room. It is going to be absolutely insane. I cannot wait. I hope it happens.